What does that even mean, Bowers Game Cardinar? Ahoy there, YouTube! Back again today for another game review and a special Kickstarter review. Today, very excited to check it out In by Zombies' third expansion, Burn It Down from Ginger Ale Games. This is for two to four players, ages 13 plus. It'll take about 20 to 40 minutes to play. And in Burn It Down, you're going to be adding some more cards to the base game of In by Zombies. No groundbreaking mechanics here, but more card goodness. But are the cards good? I don't know. Let's open it up and I'll tell you. Alrighty then, we're going to take a look at what you're going to get inside of Burn It Down the third expansion to Eaten by Zombies. Before we get started, I do want to mention this is the promotional copy in front of you. Take everything here with a grain of salt. Obviously, yours is not going to have blank artwork on it. And I imagine yours are going to have those nice oversized divider cards that I really do enjoy. So, uh, first and foremost, we got a handy dandy rule booklet. It's one page, double sided, no color, no frills. And I imagine yours is going to look much nicer when it gets to you. But the bottom line is, this is an expansion to a deck builder that mostly just adds new cards. So if you know how to play the game, really, this, this should be pretty self-explanatory. Even though there is two new things that we'll cover first. The first thing you're going to be getting are these new zomb burn zombie cards. And these will quickly, you'll quickly grow to detest these cards. These are typical zombies that are going to come out. However, they are on fire, which you can tell by this little icon right there. And what that means is when this guy comes up, you're going to be going through your safe house pile, your awesome pile of cards, and you're going to be looking for not only this number, but this number down here, the cost, and uh, those two cards are going to get burned. So essentially the first card of a cost of two, then the first card of a cost of five are going to be burned, and they are removed from the game. They don't go back into the swag piles where other people can potentially purchase them. No, they are completely out of the game. Uh, which is can be very, very bad, especially if they're good cards. So those, you will quickly learn to absolutely hate those cards. Uh, so next, we're going to go over the eight new cards that you're going to get in the game that you can uh, deck build with. The one new mechanism I want to mention is the fuel icon, which is right down here. Essentially, the fuel means that that card either it has fuel, can be used as fuel, or it is something that has fuel in it, like the chainsaw, for instance. And that fuel will come in handy in other cards, such as starting fires or something like that. And we'll get more to how that works in a second. So first we'll just go from left to right and we'll go over all the different cards. First one we have here is the Fire Axe. And the Fire Axe is a heavy stick, except a heavy, it's way better than a heavy stick. I believe a heavy stick only had a fight of one. However, this one's going to have a fight of one, a flea of two, and a scavenge of one. So it's a very versatile and useful card, but it also is going to cost you a little bit more. A good deal more, actually. So next we have the Fire Starter, which is going to cost you three. It's going to give you a flea plus two. That's really good. Also, you may discard fuel cards from your hand and gain fight equal to the total fuel cards discarded this way. So this could be potentially pretty powerful if you had, you know, quite a few of the cards with the fuel icon on them. Last but not least, it's going to give you a little bit of scavenge, so it is going to give you a little bit of change in your pocket. Next, we have Old Jack Ray number two, one of my favorite cards in here, and it's a very simple card. Essentially, you're going to draw two cards, discard a swag card, and fight plus one. Uh, it's normally a pretty useful card, unless of course you draw a zombie and then it's kind of a waste. But it also is going to give you a fight plus one. This is It's also dirt cheap, so this is a card that I really do enjoy. And I think it adds a little bit of versatility to a deck, especially early on before you acquire too many zombies. Next you're going to get the Grease Pit. And this one I really like because it gives you some options and it really can uh, potentially change how you play the game a little bit. So the Grease Pit, it's going to be five, so it's very expensive. It's going to give you a flea of plus three, which is great. Or, or, that's the important word to notice there, you're going to remove a zombie from the horde of uh, attrition less than three and place it on top of your safe house. Now, you're like, why would I possibly want to add a zombie to my safe house? Because you potentially would be able to then play that zombie on someone else. So this is kind of one that you can use as an attack or helping you run from attack. So a very interesting card. Next, we have the fuel can. And how the fuel can works is any card with the word fire, flame, or burn in the title is fight times two this card. Uh, this turn. So essentially, this is a helper card. This is a this is a good card to have. A because it has fuel right there, so you can use it uh, to do other various different fuel related things. But also because it is going to increase your attack times two, which if you have a a good weapon, can really bump it up. Next we have the Chainsaw, which might be one of my two or three favorite cards of these eight. So it's instantly going to give you a fight plus one because well, I assume you can just throw it at somebody. Uh, but you may just also discard fuel cards from your hand in the fight times x. So essentially what that means is the number of fuel cards you discarded times that by two and then that's your new fight on the chainsaw. So the chainsaw can be very very powerful especially if you have quite a good deal of fuel cards. Next, last we'll get to my favorite card of the eight and that is the fire. 
and I really like the fire because it really can impact how you play the game. So survivors may discard any gun, ammo, fuel, and heavy stick cards from their hand. Fire's fight equals the total uh, the total fight fuel of our all discarded cards. Kill zombies in the horde normally, except the thing is you're going to place all those zombies killed this way down under the fire swag pile. So essentially that means you're actually going to be able to remove zombies from the game, so they're not going to be popping up on you. So this is a very, very beneficial card, especially if you plan on playing in a cooperative manner. Last but not least, we're going to get to the card that I dislike, the one that I actually do dislike, and that is the oil lamp. And it's not a bad card by itself, but it just sounds fidgety. You read it and you're like, what's going on? So you're going to place the top card of the zombie deck into the zombie discard. You may do the same with the zombie in the horde. So that, that can be very, very useful, obviously. Next, you may discard fuel cards. If you do lose this card at cleanup, grab a swag card with fine equal to twice the total fuel discarded. So what does all that mean? Essentially, this is a really useful card. Essentially, it's going to let you get rid of a zombie. I just said essentially like three times there. You're going to be able to get rid of a zombie and you're also going to be able to trade this in for some better swag. But this is the one that when I played with two, three, four new players, they just kind of shook their head most and like, I'm not quite understanding. So maybe it's just the way it's worded or something like that. Uh, but anywho, that's what you're going to be getting inside of the Burn It Down expansion for Eaten by Zombies. Alrighty then, Eaten by Zombies, third expansion, Burn It Down from Ginger Ale Games. One of my final thoughts for the pros, let's go over the cons. Before we get started though, I do want to mention that this will be on Kickstarter you very, very soon. Be sure to post the Kickstarter link down below. So pros and cons. Uh, first on the con side, the game is not going to be for everybody. In fact, if you did not like the original Eat by Zombies or the subsequent expansions, I don't think this is going to sway you into joining in this game. Also, the game is still two to four players. Now, there is another expansion that you can purchase that will bump it up to six, but that's not this expansion, so we're not going to talk about that. So two to four players, very limited player count. Also, some people are not going to like the fact that this does not add any new groundbreaking mechanism. Now, while I really do enjoy the fuel mechanisms, and I absolutely loathe the new flaming zombies, uh, this is pretty much more of the same. So if you're not looking for more of the same, this one might not be for you. Another con that I have on this is that I feel like to get the most out of this expansion, you really need to use, say, three, four, or four of these cards uh, and have those set out as your swag piles. If you just have, say, one or two of these cards out there, I don't think you're going to get the most of the new fuel icon system. Uh, but it's by no means a big deal. So none of the cards are completely useless for the most part without, you know, synchronicity, if that's a word even. Um, any more cons I have with the game? Nothing I can really think of. It's pretty much boils down to this. If you like Eaten by Zombies, this is a no-brainer. This is a great expansion. If you don't like Eaten by Zombies, well, then you're probably going to want to look elsewhere. So what do I like about this expansion? First and foremost, it's just more of the same. These are expansions I really like when they just add new cards. I don't try to tinker too much with all the mechanisms and what you grew to love about the game. It's just like, here's more cards for you to play with and explore with and kill zombies with. And I like that. And I'll just go over some of my favorite cards. My favorite card in the entire deck is the fire cards. I really like the fire cards. I really like the fact that that can bump up the cooperative element of this. Because my wife, while she doesn't hate this game, she likes it a lot better when we play it as a cooperative game. And this is just one where I can slide it in there. And now we're working together trying to kill the zombies, trying to survive. Uh, I also like the grease pit card. That was a really interesting card because it's either going to give you that flea plus three, which is really helpful to get away, or you can just take a zombie, which means you're going to be able to play it on someone else later. As I mentioned in the middle part, uh, the oil lamp was my least favorite card. While it still is a useful card, and it's one that I'll pick up, it was the most fidgety, I thought. And, and there, none of the cards really feel too fidgety except for that oil lamp. And it's by no means a big deal breaker, which is why I didn't mention in the cons, but it's just, just something uh, to note. Other than that, I like the new fuel icon system. I really like the new zombie fire cards, uh, but I will say you probably only want to add those if you're looking for more of a challenge, because those things really will come up when you don't want them to, and just be like, oh, I just bought that freaking card, and, and then it gets burned, and it's gone for the rest of the game, and no one else can buy it, and it gets really frustrating. But that is Burn It Down, the third expansion to Eden by Zombies, one that I definitely can recommend you check out on Kickstarter if you enjoy Eden by Zombies. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to click on the subscribe button down below, and in the comments below, let me know, where would you hide? Zombie Apocalypse, what's the first thing you are doing right now? Uh, so yeah, that's actually a different question. So what's the first thing you're doing? There's a zombie apocalypse. For me personally, I'm going to my work and I am raiding it and grabbing all the food. We have like we have like eight months supply of food because as you know, I work with tons and tons and tons of kids and we have like a hundred or something kids in the school. So there's tons of canned food in there. Just there's enough fruit to last like six months in there. So that's the first thing I would do because I don't think too many things people would think 
to go there. Then I'd go try and go across the street to Walgreens and I'd probably get shot. Uh, but yeah, that's what I do. What would be the first thing you did, though, in a zombie apocalypse? And as always, thanks for your time, you two. That was the Burn It Down expansion for Eaten by Zombies. For more reviews and previews, check back at Bowers Game Corner. Bye.